so this is sections 3.2 through 3.4 and all of these deal with slope and graphing lines okay so in this section we're going to graph lines in two ways intercepts and a checkpoint and using slope and y-intercept okay so slope and y-intercept is what you're probably more used to okay but we're going to graph using intercepts and a checkpoint too so graphing using intercepts and a checkpoint right x-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis okay and to find that intercept you're just going to plug in zero for y and solve for x and so it's going to look like x comma zero because your zero is what you're plugging in for your y value okay and then y-intercept is exactly the opposite it's the point where the graph crosses the y-axis and to find the y-intercept you'll plug in zero for x and then solve for y okay so that the y-intercept will look like in your x having a zero coordinate and your y being whatever number you get when you plug x in zero in for x okay so to solve using your intercepts in a checkpoint we're going to find the x-intercept and plot it y-intercept plot it we'll plug in a checkpoint okay so we're gonna pick any number besides zero for x and then we'll solve for y to get an ordered pair okay the easiest number for you to pick is for x equal one and then we'll plot that point and we'll draw a straight line okay all these will be straight lines so look at this one graph 2x plus 4y equals 8 using the intercepts okay so we need to find x intercept and the y intercept right okay this means y equals zero okay so we'll do 2x plus four times y equals zero. So four times zero equals eight. So two x equals eight and x equals four, right? Divide by two. So x equals four. For the y-intercept, you're gonna set x equal to zero, right? So two times zero plus four y equals eight. And then you get 4y equals 8 divided by 4. So y equals 2. Okay, so your x intercept is x equals 4. Okay, but we're going to do it by coordinates so it makes more sense. So 4 is your x value, 0 is your y value. And then for your x intercept, 0 is your, I mean, your y intercept x is zero y is two so we can go ahead and plot that so four zero would be here and then zero two would be here right so now we need to find a checkpoint and it's always easier to say all right let's plug in x equals one and see what we get for y so two times one plus four y equals eight so two plus four y equals eight and then we're just solving for y which at this point you should be able to do divide by four so y equals six fourths which is three halves right so our point is one three halves so we'll go over here one up three halves which is like one and then a little bit so right there and it should be in line with your intercepts and it is so we're good okay so x and y intercept so one equal to zero solve for the other one and then your checkpoint, set x equal to 1, find what y is, okay? 
now slope is what you are used to using okay so slope of a line is the measure of the steepness of the line okay and we use the letter m to denote slope okay you need two ordered pairs to be able to find slope okay and the formula is right here so m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so we can use if we're given two points like this example we can use these two points and find how steep of a line these two points give us right the slope of the line the steepness of the line okay so it helps if you label your lines x1 y1 x2 y2 okay our formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 x1 right so now you just plug them in. So negative three minus zero over negative two minus negative two. So that gives us negative three over negative two plus two. So that gives us undefined. That would give us an undefined slope, right? Because anything over zero is undefined. Let's do this one. Maybe this will give us something that's not undefined. Undefined slope is okay. Okay, so we get negative 13 plus one over Two plus six, which would give us negative 12 over eight, right? And we want this in simplest terms. So four goes into both of those. So we get three over two. So we would get negative three halves as our slope, okay? So if I give you two points, you can always find the slope of that line by using your formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? Now let's graph using the slope and the y-intercept. And this is what you're probably used to doing or you have done more of, okay? So the equation y equals mx plus b is called slope-intercept form, okay? y equals mx plus b, m is your slope. b, okay, whatever your number is by itself out here, that's your y-intercept. So that's what you're gonna graph on the y-axis, okay? So the steps are right here. Solve for y. So you want to get it into y equals mx plus b form. So you're gonna manipulate it however you need to, okay? The number in front of your x is m, that's your slope. Your constant is your y-intercept. You're going to plot the y-intercept on the y-axis. And then you're gonna rise and run whatever your slope is, okay? So if your slope is positive, you'll, from the y-intercept, you'll use the slope to go up and to the right, okay? So that makes it positive, up is positive, to the right is positive. If your slope is negative, you go up and to the left, okay? Left is a negative move. So let's say we have this guy, y equals two thirds x plus one, okay? That is in y equals mx plus b form, okay? Your slope, let me highlight it. Your slope 
is here. That's M. Okay, so your slope is two thirds. And your, trying to highlight for you guys. Your intercept is whatever your constant is. In this case, it is one. So let's graph your intercept. So a dot goes on one, and then we need to rise and run two thirds, okay? So that means we're gonna go up two over three and put our dot right there. Up two over three, rise over run. So we'll go up two over three and draw our line. Okay, just like that. All right, on the next one, it's already in y equals mx plus b. Your slope this time is negative three halves, and then your y-intercept is negative two. So you're gonna go down to negative two, put a dot, and then you're gonna rise and run negative three halves. So you're gonna go up three to the left two. So we'll go up three, one, two, three, to the left two, one, two, okay? Right there. And you'll connect the dots if that will connect. Let's look. There we go. Okay. So positive slope is always going to look like this. Negative slope is always going to look like that. Okay. And that's how we graph using that part. Okay. So look at this. We still want to graph these two examples with. Um, slope and y-intercept. These just aren't in y equals mx plus b form, but we can turn them into y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so we have 4x plus y equals 1. Well, if we subtracted 4x from both sides, we would have y equals negative 4x plus 1. That's in y-intercept form, right? So using this guy, here, let me move it over. Looking here, turn the, there we go. your slope is negative four and your intercept is one. All right, so we're gonna go to one and put a dot and then slope is negative four, okay? Which is not a fraction, but we can write it as a fraction, negative four over one. Okay, so I write it as a fraction because we're doing rise over run. And we don't want to mess up and uh, rise four and run four because we need to rise four, run one, right? So from one, and it's negative, so we're going to go up four, one, two, three, four, to the left because it's negative one. So our dot would be right here, and we'll connect. So the only difference between that one and all the other ones was we needed to solve for y. Okay, get y by itself, y equals mx plus b. And then we needed to make sure we were rising and running four over one and not four over four, okay? So turn that whole number into a fraction by putting it over one and that'll help, okay? This one also is not in slope intercept form. So we'll do three x, minus two y equals negative four, and we're just gonna solve for y. So we're gonna subtract three x. Okay. And then we're gonna divide each one by negative two. Okay, because that creates one so we have y equals positive three halves x plus two. And that is in slope intercept form with two being your slope. So we're gonna graph, we're gonna rise two, run one, and then your intercept is two. That was wrong. Y intercept is two, sorry. Your slope is three halves, right? Okay, your m is three halves, your y intercept is 
two. Your B is two. I got this mixed up. That's my fault. Okay, so we plot two on the y axis. We rise three, one, two, three. To the right, two, one, two, because it's positive. And draw our line. Just like that. Okay. So that is how we do slope intercept with it being in slope intercept form already, or we manipulate it a little bit and then do slope intercept. Okay. And last little thing is we have um, vertical and horizontal lines. Okay. These are two special lines. Um, vertical lines are x equals a number, they have no slope. Horizontal lines are y equals a number, and they have a slope of zero. So that's different, right? They have no slope means that it's undefined. Okay, so if we go back two pages, we found a slope that was undefined, right? Okay, when you had zero in the bottom, they, that has no slope, so that would be a vertical line, right? And then horizontals are y equals a number and they have a slope of zero, okay? So x equals negative three, that means we're going to go on the x-axis put a dot on negative three and the line goes opposite of whatever axis it's on, okay? So we're not gonna draw a line on top of the x-axis. We're gonna draw the line vertical like that, okay? It should go the opposite way of whatever line you put, you put the dot on, okay? So for this one, we need y by itself, of course. So we're gonna do divide by three, right? So this one has a slope of zero, right? Plus zero, so we don't write it. So we have y equals four. So we go on the y axis at four and we put a dot, okay? Same rule applies here. We don't graph, we don't draw the line on the y axis where we put the dot, we draw it the other way. So we draw this way, just like that, okay? So those two special lines, we definitely shouldn't miss those, right? So whatever um, you put your dot on the X or the Y, whatever one it tells you and draw the line the opposite way, okay? And that is sections 3.2 through 3.4.